lumbar transforaminal epidural steroid injection this procedure is performed for chronic pain mostly radiating into the lower extremities the chronic lumbar pain also called as sciatica or radiculopathy may or may not associate with tingling numbness as well as weakness of the lower extremities the procedure is performed either for diagnostic purpose or therapeutic reason diagnostic injection is performed to evaluate the cause of the pain there are five lumbar nerves which are passing into the lower extremities the pain may come from any one of the five or it may be involving more than one lumbar nerves the reason diagnostic injection is performed is to find out the level of the nerve which is pinched either by disc herniation or bulge disc and to perform the injection so if pain is relieved then the cause of the pain is possibly treated with surgical treatment. Therapeutic injection is performed if the patient is not a candidate for surgery or any other treatment and not responding to oral pain medications or any other treatment. Therapeutic injections are performed multiple times and repeated every three to six months. Diagnostic injection or therapeutic injection of a procedure transforaminal epidural injection is done in the operating room. The surgical center provides the sterilized environment which is important to prevent any infections in the epidural space. Patient is brought in the operating room. Patient is asked to lie in prone position which is on the stomach. The pillow is kept underneath the patient's stomach and over the operating bed. X-ray is used to identify the lumbar vertebra. The diagnostic injection is performed at the selected nerve, either lumbar nerve 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. The level requested for the diagnostic injection depends on the findings of the clinical examination, MRI studies, CAT scan and EMG examination. If patient is scheduled for diagnostic injection, then one or two levels injections are performed same time. If patient is scheduled for therapeutic injection, then up to three level injection are performed same time. Once the patient is in prone position, the x-ray is used to identify the level of the foramina where the injection is to be performed. AP which is anterior posterior view of the x-ray, lateral or oblique view of the x-ray is used for the procedure. Once the foramina is observed using the x-ray, the needle entry point is marked with the marking pen. The skin over the needle entry point is anesthetized with local anesthesia. Local anesthesia used for skin and subcutaneous tissue anesthesia is 1% lidocaine. The amount used is 1 to 2 cc. The medication is is injected using 25 gauge needle. After local anesthesia, the needle is passed under the x-ray guidelines into the foramina from the oblique side. The needle is very carefully introduced into the foramina. Few times patient may feel a paresthesia which means patient may have a severe pain passing through the nerve into the legs if the needle is touching the nerve. In that case carefully nerve has to be placed on the side of the nerve. The needle placement is extremely important to prevent any complications. X-ray guidelines and frequent change of the view of the x-ray either anterior posterior lateral or oblique is necessary to prevent the passing of the needle into the epidural space or into the spinal space. Once the needle is placed into the foramina, the dye is injected. The dye spread along the nerve is observed. The dye will spread along the nerve in exterior direction as well as into the spinal canal. After confirmation of the satisfactory placement of the spinal needle, the procedure is performed by injecting the medications. Medication injected are normal saline, local anesthesia, and cortisone injection. Cortisone injection use is either Depomedrol or Canalog, while local anesthesia use is 2% lidocaine or bupivacaine. The local anesthesia which is used should not have any preservative. After the procedure, needle is removed, patient is transferred to the recovery room and patient is observed for any further complications. Patient is discharged home if there is no complications. Patient is evaluated following the procedure as well as first visit after the injection in the office.